I come to the river at the ending of day when the last waves of sorrow have blown there be somebody waiting to show Cross Jordan alone. I won't have to cross Jordan alone. Jesus died all my sins to 
Good morning, everyone. Praise the Lord. 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 Last time, at this time, please. Not too much talking. Let's just assume a position of reverence as we get started now. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Job declared in the book of Job, I know that I redeem the best, and he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself. And my eyes shall behold, and not another. The Apostle Paul, in writing to his son in the Gospel to nothing, he told him, he said, We brought nothing into this world, and for certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord's name. We're gathered here this morning to celebrate the life of the late Erica Malcolm, one who has no doubt impacted your lives in some way, shape, or form. Hence the reason we are here to pay your last respect to say to the family members that you support them in this time of grief. So as we've come, there's nothing that you can do to impact. Erica's life anymore. She has lived her life in this earth and has ended. So as much as we're going to be talking much about her, I want us to just be grateful to the Lord for the fact that you knew her, for the relationship you had with her, for the encounters you had with her. So we're going to, with grateful hearts, sing to the Lord today. He's still God in the good and the bad times, not it? Whether you're grieving or not, he's still God. And the fact that his God is to be worshipped and to be praised. Somebody praise him. Oh, I thought I had some praises in the house. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise God. I might as well tell you this is an apostolic church. We believe in clapping our hands and shouting hallelujah and praising God. We are not the type of church that you just come and sit easy. We believe in a couple and through these doors we ought to give God the best of you in praise and worship. Somebody praise him.
if she was here today, she would want us to sing to the glory of God. She wants us to worship God from everything in us. And we're going to give her a good night where we're going to praise God like never before. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to reverend God right now as we're going to pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. I still for those who are able to stand and just to ask for stand. Mighty God, Holy Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God above all gods, hallelujah, Jesus, creator of heaven and earth. Mighty God, you are sovereign, you are sovereign in all your ways, mighty God. Your understanding is way out of our possible well, understanding, mighty God. Hallelujah, your word is clear, mighty God, that to everything there is a season. Hallelujah, time to be born and a time to die. Hallelujah, time to Yeah. 
the Lord. Verse 18 and ending, wherefore comfort one another with these words. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. Let me use this opportunity to publicly express to the bereaved family members my sincere condolences and I do so on behalf of my family and the family of the first United Pentecostal Church of Manifold. Not many of us who have known Erica came to a fast service once and she got baptized and some person didn't be there at all. She got sick, very sick, and was hardly able to be back. We are just grateful that we were able to at least serve her in that way and ensure that she was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of her sins. So we give God thanks for that opportunity. But I just want to say to the family members that in times like these, it's difficult to find the right words to express exactly what we would like to say to you. Because as human beings, we are limited in our abilities to do things that we need. And there's a part of you that cannot be comforted by God himself. And as such, we will pray that he will do what you desire him to do today for you. For those who just need some time to do some, some, some comfort, some succor, God is able to do that. And so we pray that he will minister to you the need you have in whatever way he chooses best to do so. So just be encouraged. We're praying for you. And be encouraged of the fact also that this is a path that everyone else who has a trial. As long as the Lord tarries for the next 50 years, I guarantee that 90% of us in here will be alive. They know that. Because death is a short sure part of life and you will have to face it one day, just as our America did. And so, it's a part of life that we, we don't love, but it's a real part. It's even real more than you see tomorrow. And so we can live our lives and be conscious of that. So just be, be encouraged, be strengthened in the Lord, and know that if you ask of Him, anything you ask of Him, according to His will, He will do it for you. He says you should ask and shall receive. And you should knock and shall open unto you, you shall seek and shall find. But whatever you need of God today, you just ask and you will do it for you today. Amen? Amen, Amen son. We'll not be having two selections, one by Mrs. Tyler White, another by Mrs. Mrs. Janet Cord, they're both cousins of Erica. I invite them to come at this time in Jesus' name, in that order. Mrs. Tyler White, followed by Mrs. Janet Cord. Or is it time? Are you doing it together? Or is it time?
are not certain of tomorrow. Life is sure. Life is uncertain. But I'm glad today. Erica knew, and I'm happy that I know who walks tomorrow. Because he holds my hand.
But you know
costly she gave to the young people. She mentored. Erica lived a full and rewarding life, not for herself alone, but for everyone who came in contact with her. Erica was a fighter. She fought a good character fight and stands in the need of her own. She fulfilled that which she was born to do and has finished her duty on earth. And though we may want to keep her a little while longer, the final decision came from her Heavenly Father, who has seen fit the end of her life. Seen fit in wisdom and mercy to cover her home. Going home does not mean the end of her life. We will, she will be kept alive in her memories until such time as we meet on brightest shores. Erica, your past is not sudden us, but we, what you have now in your ways, sleep in peace until we meet again.
As I said before, I'm just going to ask you to give generously to the building of God's kingdom here in her. I'm just going to ask the person to the building college and the offering to come. And I'm asking you to stand with me as I bless the offering. Can you all stand, please?
told the Victoria that day to come and join and join with us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 At this time, we'll have a remembrance and that will be done by Mr. Simmons and Nephew. I'm just going to ask you to come right now. And for a time, I'm just going to ask, we have one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm just going to ask for one, two, three. As I said before, we would love to get out of here and everything be done before the rain comes. So let us just go as fast as we can. So after Mr. Simmons, we will have one more picture. Good afternoon, everyone. All is good. All the time. I'm sitting at the dinner room, so I'm going to get down and come home. Oi, Sophia! 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 Go on, I can't hear you, I'm fine. Somebody else is going to feel coming to me again. Well, most people know that this is the man of God. Should often say, Maya, behave yourself, no man. Kiki, stop running, Kiki. Kiki, let me say stop running. Tai Tai, come here, baby. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here.
the God of the earth said, Pastor Erica, she held me so tight. And she held me so tight. She told me that um, one day when she died, she knew when she get to heaven, she's going to be healed. So I'm just going to, as I said, there's two minutes for this open tribute. So I'm going to sing the singer, the song that I was singing the last time I met her. You have suffered all so long. Keep wondering why. Sorry. You have suffered all so long. Keep wondering where your pain will be gone. You try. always liked to keep 
everything in its place. I know for those who went to her house, you know, you take off your shoes before you go into the house, yes? Her hospitality was one considered legendary. She would treat her guests like king and queens, and her doors were always open to many persons for long and short-term stays. Everyone felt comfortable and at home. Erica would also leave the country to visit her big brother Roy to Queens for him. She would also on occasion bring along her brother Brian and her son Jerome for an entire day just to extend her kindness to her elder brother. Now, Erica began feeling unwell in the period of 2021. During that time, she continued going to the doctor. Now, Erica decided to give her life to Christ where she was baptized at the first Union Pentecostal Church right here on October 19, 2022, as her health began to fade. She had to cut back most of her big new business activity, um, especially when it came to taking care of her grandchildren and Maya. Erica sought treatment both locally and abroad. Now, while she was cared for by family, friends, neighbors, she was hospitalized at the Mandeville Regional Hospital in August 2023. Unfortunately, during her care at the hospital, she passed away on September 12, 2023. Maureen, also known as Fatty by many, we want to say enough respect and a big thank you for always being there and giving a helpful hand in every possible way that you can to Erica. Erica and I leaving her son, three children, four sisters, four brothers, nieces, nephews, other relatives, and friends. And I just want to give that to one thing. So for those of you who don't know me, I, 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 I'm her nephew, right? Um, and I'm her nephew because she was very close to my mother before my mother passed away 29 years ago. So I'm 29, my mother passed away 29 years ago. And you know, I just grew up knowing her as my aunt. And I remember after high school, we went to primary school. I remember leaving, walking down to the shop, the bar that she had down on um, Ward Avenue. And you know, on occasion, she like the peanut and stuff, the jelly. And I, you know, just thinking about that, I just remember how kind she was, how compassionate she was. And you know, I don't live in Mandeville anymore, but anytime I come to Kingston, if it's what come to Mandeville, if it's one person that I can make a trail that I see, it's Auntie Erica. Um, so yes, we are so close to peace, and we will definitely miss her. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord, son. Are you grateful to be in the presence of the Lord today? I don't know if you thought about the fact that you didn't have to wake up this morning. But it was God who woke you up. Therefore, we have a reason to give him thanks. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. We are just about to shift the focus of the service from Erica, who no longer can hear what we are saying. And the focus will be on those of us who has ears and can hear what the Lord will say to us today. Amen? 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 And therefore, I invite you to listen to the reading from the section of the book of Galatians. I'll read from Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 and 8. And the Bible says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth the flesh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. For you have sadly we thank you today. For your love, we thank you for your mercy, we thank you for your grace. Lord God, my dear we stand and sit in this house. Your words today. Give everyone a certified whether they're inside or outside of this building and whether they're watching online. Style. I pray, God, that the word will take root and bring about the change you desire for it to have, mighty God. We be the blood of Jesus against every plan of the Addison, every emissary of his that has dispatched to come and brought the people of the world. We do a command that we empower us. And we take authority over this atmosphere under the power of the Holy Ghost. And we say, let your will be done now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God, son. 
somebody. My friends and brothers, sisters, as it relates to mankind and the purpose for which God has made us and the things we do from day to day in just trying to satisfy ourselves and trying to satisfy the needs of our families and friends. When we look at all the activities that we are involved in from day to day, trying to live, just trying to live, just trying to survive, just trying to make a life, and just trying to be a better person for our family. When we place all the things that we do in terms of their importance to our purpose for being on earth for which God has made us, we can place them in two categories. Everything you have done since morning, everything you do from this point onward, you can place it in two categories as it relates to the purpose for which God made you. They are either in the major category or minor category. And the big problem we have as human beings is that many of us we spend more time doing the things that ultimately falls in the minor category. And we spend less time or little time or no time at all doing the things that falls in the major category. So we need to understand brothers and sisters in this we now need to shift from nature in the minor and minor in the major to make sure that the things we do, they are pointed to the major things in life. It's time we stop and take stuff of our lives and what we are doing. If you are sowing to the flesh, my friends, I said if you are sowing to the flesh, you are sowing and you are majoring in the minor aspect of life. There is bound and there are bound to it corruption. But you must understand that when God made man, God made man a tripartite being. Man is body, spirit, and soul. So what you are looking at is just a body. But the body is not the real you. The body will die. And Erica has time. I will go back to the dust of the earth. And when you die, the spirit will go back to God who gave it. But you will have a soul which is a really you that cannot die. Your soul will live on in eternity somewhere, whether it's in hell or in heaven, somebody. And what you do in this life will determine the eternal lesson that you read. A ripper can do nothing to change your destiny again. All that she could have done to change her destiny, she had to have done it while she had breath in her body, like you and I have today. But she doesn't have it and will never have it in that body again, praise God. And so you must understand that the soul you have, it is of such great value that you've got to spend time looking after your soul. If you are so into the flesh, you're not looking about your soul. If you are so into the spirit, you are looking about your soul, and therefore you are majoring in the major things of life. Because only things that pertain to your eternal destiny falls in the major category. Everything you see is temporal. The Bible tells us that the things that are seen, they are temporal, meaning that they have an expiration date. They will come to an end at some point. So if you can see the person beside you, they are temporal. When you're looking at the body, it's temporal. It is going to die, and decay, and go back to the dust. But that which you can't see, the Bible says, is eternal. You can't see your soul, so your soul is eternal. It is going to live on forever. None of us will escape eternity. We are all going to spend eternity somewhere. And the Bible says, brothers and sisters and friends, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, 
Because men can deceive you. And that is bad. But when you deceive yourself, it's worse. But the Bible tells us that your heart, my heart, it is desperately wicked. And above all this, it's deceitful. It's deceitful. The heart you have is deceitful. Don't think that the heart you have doesn't have the propensity and the ability to be deceitful and to be wicked. It does, the Bible tells us in Jeremiah. And so your own heart will cause you to indulge in a reasoning that may seem acceptable. But they are very elusive. Reasons such as thinking that you can live your life indulging in sinful activities every day and then doing sinful activities, so into the flesh, and then expect to read heaven. You expect to escape punishment. You hard can tell that it's possible when it's not possible. Because your heart is deceitful.
When the Bible says you will be corruption in a Christian context, it is mean that you're going to ring hell of eternal damnation and misery. And there's no, there's no one word in Helena. And the, the ability to come back out is impossible. If you go through, you can't escape. It's not like this, there are many doors. You can come to one and go to another one. You can go back to the same one that came in. Not so in hell. If you find yourself there, you did a favor. And you get there by holding soul seeds in this life. And what you do in this life with your soul that God has given to you. If every day you get up and you, 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 you live your life hating others, live your life not biting against others, live your life being angry and drinking of the rum and the NSC and the boom and the all of that that you love to drink to make you feel like you're a man or you feel like you're it. If that's how you live your life, if you, you live your life just partying, having a nice time with the girls and the boys, like some of you plan to do tonight. If that's how you live your life, getting up every day cursing, stealing and fighting, and womanizing and manizing. That's a woman, womanizing. That's a woman who very deceitful. And the amount of women, the amount of man that they have around me, you never know. If you live your life like that, and you don't change, you can't escape hell. God has to see the soul, and that's what you're going to reap. Corruption. And so, if you're doing that, your soul sees that you're causing to reap eternal damnation. But if every day you get up and you live your life in accordance with the word of God and the requirements of your salvation, meaning being filled with the Holy Ghost and living a God and soul life, if you are doing that, you are so seeds that will cause you to reap eternal life with God. And so remember this. And I don't wrap it Bible tells us God is not mocked. You know what that means? What the apostle is telling us when he wrote this is that you cannot impose on God your elusive reasoning. God knows your real character and he is going to be judging you according to your real you. You cannot defend these principles of government that say whatsoever you saw, that's what you want to read. So friends, if you should stop up all the things that you do from day to day, all the things you've done in this life so far up to this point, and all the things that you possess, because some of you might have great wealth, some of us might not have. And all the things that you desire to satisfy your physical needs, if you stop them up and put them up against the value of and the value and importance of your soul, you realize that all of these things are minor. They're falling in minor categories of things in this life. And only souls that are necessary and relevant to the saving of your soul and fulfilling God's purpose for your life would be in the major category. So think about it. How much have you put in the major category so far? Is it that everything you've done can be summed up and placed in the minor category of life? So I just wanted to think today and to advise you. It's time to start investing in the most important asset that you have. The most important asset you possess is your soul. You need to spend time investing in the salvation of your soul. We all want our souls to find eternal peace and 
rest in God. Now everybody dies here and put in RIP, rest in peace. That, that cannot make nobody rest in peace. You can say all you want to say after they die, you can't do nothing with whether they rest in peace or not. So you'll never find me right to say nothing about rest in peace. No. I can't. Me say they can't cause you to rest in peace. It's how you live your life will determine if you are resting in peace with you after death. They have some wicked, violent men, and women who die. And you come rest in peace. We're not going to peace. In hell, there's no peace. In hell, it's torment and fire. So stop talking foolishness about rest in peace when you know the man is going to live a godly life. You always can't make it rest in peace. You're wasting your breath. Whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Man can come and put the dead in heaven, but your words can put them in heaven. It's the life they live that will determine where they spend eternity. You are writing your eulogy every day you live. And the, and the eulogy that is most important is the one that you write. Not the one that we come and read in a service, but the one that you write that God knows is the real one. I wonder what your eulogy look like now. When God saw read it, I wonder what it looks like. But the good thing that you have an opportunity today to make sure that eulogy that's going to be read about you. The real one I'm talking about. The one that was read about Erica today, not necessarily the real one. They don't know everything about Erica. She wrote one. And God knows that one. And that one is going to be the one that determines her, her eternal destiny. So make sure you're writing a good one for yourself. We all want peace in eternity. But not too many of us are not so in the things that will ensure that we will actually be in peace. See, the heart you have will cause you to think one thing, whereas the reality is different. Friends, you wrap it up. Only a fool, my brother, only a fool will so corn and expect to be peace. Only a fool will so wheat and expect to be barley. Only a fool would live their life void of the presence of God, live their life not repenting of their sins, and not getting baptized in his name, not receiving the Holy Ghost, and think they go to heaven. Because he never saw what was required for him to get to heaven. What you are sowing was determined a different destination for you. And there are only two destinations. So if it's not heaven, you know the other one. Let me forget it, right? Stop deceiving yourself. God is not mocked, you can't fool him. So we've got to know how it is that we live every day. There's a reason that we must make sure we get it right. So I just wrap it up. Why not? Let me ask you the question. Why not make up your minds today? If you're here, why not determine your hearts? You see the, the, the heart you have? It will allow you to sit here and feel, oh, you don't have to respond with the bidding of God. This, what, what, what the man is saying from me is not for you. It's for the somebody else beside you. Alright. Is that you? You cool. You are right. The heart of God to be deceitful. So my my pregnant today. Why not determine their hearts today? To stop sowing to the flesh. And start sowing to the spirit. Sister Erica in the coffee there. She can't sow any more seeds.
her days of sewing are over. She will do nothing. What, what, the only thing she has to do now is to read whatever she sold. And rest assured, she's going to read whatever she sold. And what she reads is going to be based on what she has sold in her life. And what she what she will eternally read is going to be based on what she sold when she was alive. The seed she sold while she had a chance to sow. While she had breath in her body. While she was conscious to make decisions that we are all that she had the opportunity to make about her soul where her soul is in eternity what was required for her to be in eternity with God so if you, if you want to make a balance in life with God then you have the soul to the spirit you have to stop indulging in the sinful activities of this life repent of your sins let the pastor the preacher will let us get you baptized in Jesus' name. The baptism that that's when your sins are remitted. You don't take on the Lord and you want baptism. And you need the gift of the Holy Ghost. But Jesus said you got the one of the water of the Spirit. And you can't escape that requirement of salvation. You gotta be born of the water. Get baptized. You gotta be born of the Spirit. Get the Holy Ghost. Speak in the tongues of the Spirit gives them other hands. You need those two requirements to be saved. So if, if that's not your reality today, I want you to think about it. It's time to repent of your sins. Or if you want to throw the flesh, you're going to be in the last damnation. So watch, watch your soul. As of today, be conscious of what your soul, your actions, your deeds, your, your words. Be conscious of it. Watch what you say. Watch what you live. Because they're going to read what you say. They will not escape it. And sometimes you live in this life, and they're going to surely going to read in the life to come also. Some of you seem to think that God is sleeping. But I've been so he's not sleeping. He's watching everything you do. And the Bible tells us that the great God he neither sleep nor slumber. He's always alert and awake, watching every action. And not only watching, but taking note of every one of them. And on that great judgment day, when none of us can escape, we all going to stand before him. It's not going to be the same place for the Christian as on the same. But we are going to be judged. He's going to ensure that you read what you saw when you stand before him. Your heart can deceive them now, but there's a comment on your heart and say, hey, you're stupid, you should have listened to me. You should have listened to the word of God. You don't believe me? Actually, in 20, chapter 16, when he died and Lazarus died, Lazarus was taken to Abraham's bosom and went to, to Hades. And in heaven, he lifted his eyes and saw Lazarus in heaven. And said, Father Abraham! Send Lazarus to us, dip him hand in water, and come put him on the tongue. That's how he was perishing in hell. But Abraham said to him, listen to me, can't work. Now there's a great God fixed. We can move from one to the other. So in the rich man said, well, I have five brothers still remaining on earth. Send Lazarus to tell him, don't come here, sir. Abraham said, listen to me. Lazarus can't do that. Then have people on earth preaching to them. Let them listen to the preachers. You know, many of us in here, your friends and family that was gone on before you, they're like the rich man. Wish they could have come and tell us something. Don't come to hell in a nice long way, sir. But you can't do it. You have to listen to the preacher. The preacher is telling it's not nice. You don't need to get spirit. Escape it. Soul to the spirit. Corruption. God bless you to that. You point on those words. 
And there's someone that would love for us to pray with you before you leave. Let's raise your hands. If you really want to make sure that you start sowing differently, let's raise your hands. Let me see you. I want to pray. Or, in fact, God loves us to pray to you right here. I believe that's something. God can do something. Those who raise their hands, let's come. I want to lay my hands with you. And let's pray for you. And then the change your desire will be realized in your life. Hallelujah. It's important. It's important. It's important. It's very important that you, 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 you're cognizant of what it is your soul. And you're going to read what is soul. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you, ladies. God bless you. 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 Father, we come to you today, Lord. These ladies, you made them, Father. And God, you know them. You know they're going out and they're coming in. You know they're down sitting and they're uprising. Nothing about them is hidden from the child. Jesus, their lives are open before you. And today, God, they've heard the words. God, I tell the desire to make a change. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that the adversary of the devil will not be able to remove the seed of conviction that has been placed in their hearts. And that God will respond and turn their life to you. Stop sowing to the flesh and start sowing to the spirit. That they will reap eternal life with you. In the name of Jesus, I pray you change them for your glory. I pray God Almighty, you baptize them with the Holy Ghost and fire. In the name of Jesus, bless them now. In the name of Jesus, save their souls. And they go from this place today. God of the men come to the place where they full of repent of their sins and they baptize in the name. And God will fill them with the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say thanks. Hallelujah. 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 Bless them today. In Jesus' name. Step my wife to get these things from peace. Let's go and take the link. I want to leave inside to be touch with you. I want to call you. And talk with him further. Have a one on one with you, okay? Let's get there. Let's give this to Tamara again, please. Let us go there, she'll get me free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Who are standing? Just remember, you're going to read what you saw. Just remember that. You're going to read what you saw. You, you, you will not escape that. But be careful of what you saw. Of the life you're living in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Some of us want to worship God. Some of us want to worship Him today. Hallelujah, Jesus. Praise the Lord. We will now be having prayer for the family. In fact, the members of the family to come to this outer area. I will pray for you today. In Jesus' name. One member of Sister Erica has come forward.
that their loved one Erica is gone on, and they will never know her in the way they knew her before. Never again. That chapter of their lives has been closed. But Lord, God, she has left a legacy that they will always cherish and will always be mindful of. It will come back to them from time to time. The, the relationship she had with them, the words she shared with them, the, 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 the kind deeds that she shared with them. Father, in these times that they begin to reminisce and remember Sister Erica, for those that will see pain and hurt and great loss, I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll comfort them, mighty God. I pray you'll minister to them, God Almighty, that only you can minister the peace that passes all understanding to them, Father, that in the midst of those grievous moments, they will find joy and peace that only you can give to them, Father. I pray you'll supply their needs. Oh, God, whatever source Sister Erica wants to them, I pray you'll become that source of them, Father. I pray you'll become that source of peace and provision and hope and love and joy to them in the name of Jesus. Minister to their needs, comfort and bless them in Jesus' name we pray. I pray you'll bind them together with cords of God that can be broken. Let no death bring them as a family even closer, caring for each other, loving each other. Oh God, I can put in each other interest at first above them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray, we ask it to be so. I will believe it is so. In Jesus' name. And can you just lift your hands and say, Thank you, Jesus. God bless you today as you go back to your seats. Before we do the recession on him, let me just give you some instructions. We will be going to the burial that will take place in French Park, I think. Is that so? Yes, yes. I'm not seeing the rest of the French Park, Fir Tree, Fir right? Right. Family plot in French Park, Fir Tree, Manchester. Of course, one family will possibly have to lead, and then you'll follow behind the hearse. That destination will go there, right? As we leave the building here, to leave the rest to remain there for a period. We love Erica, Erica Malcolm. Praise God. So. I'm going to ask that the Paul Bears take a position at the casket at this time. Those who are Paul Bears in the casket to the hearse of the church, please take your position at the casket. So now, Paul Director, please come and get ready for us to take the casket out. Thank you. I'm going to ask that you to not be moving out of the church at this time, but please stay where you are. And the last time, of respect for Erica, your loved one. Let us do things decently and in order at this time. We have been a good audience so far. Let's just maintain that. Amen. So we will do the research on him. What will happen is that I will go first and followed by the family members. Immediately behind me, the castle will come to the family members. Then the general congregation will follow afterwards. Praise God. So everybody stand at the time as we sing the recession of him. I will leave you from here to the French Park for the committal service. Precious memories.
Bishop Smith, tell us, pray for us at this time. In Jesus' name. Let us pray. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Almighty God and our yeah, Father, Jehovah yeah, Shalom, Jehovah yeah, Nissi. The rock in the weary land, the shelter in the time of storm. Jesus, we thank you, Almighty God, this evening. Oh God, even though it is this occasion, but Almighty God is just another reminder of the appointment unto us that is appointed unto man once to die. We thank you, Almighty God, for the life of Miss Erica. Oh God, we pray at this time that you may strengthen the family, Almighty God. They go through their time of bereavement. Oh God, help them, to, help them to realize, Almighty God, that you promise that you will never leave, neither will you forsake them. Guide, protect, save, sanctify, heal, and deliver. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Amen. I will do the commentary and I will sing the hymn while, this, while the, the coffin is being covered. Do you have a, sh a shovel with dirt? Into your hand we comment your daughter Erica Malcolm. In your sure and certain hope of the resurrection, the eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This body we commit to the ground. Earth to earth, ash to ash, and dust to dust. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit. They will rest from their labors, for the deeds follow them. Stop, man. Stop. We now we will be doing the, the comments out of him. Look like the thing. The Lord is called the flag. Everybody, let's sing. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal brightness, everybody. Yeah, man. Uh oh, oh, me on the sky and the roll is called up yonder. Everybody say, when the, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. And that bright and cloudiest morning when the dead in Christ shall rise And the glorious in resurrection shall be there When the roll, when the roll is called yonder I'll be there When the roll, when, when the roll is called up yonder I'll be there Let us labor, to labor. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us start up for his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work and earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. I want to be there. When the when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Yonder, 
shall be there when the road is called up yonder. When the road is called up yonder. When the road is called up yonder. When the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. In the songs, and spiritual sorrow, spiritual sorrow no more. Not a sign for the blessings of rest. Oh, we just we. Beautiful shore in the sweet and by we shall be here on the beautiful shore. To the bountiful Father above, beautiful Father above, we shall offer a tribute of praise for the glory of the sweet by and by we shall meet on the beautiful sing that one more time in the sweet by and by by we shall meet on the beautiful and the beautiful shore in the sweet and going away water meet me by the river water sound Oh, I 
Halloween. Well.